absorption is used to describe the journey of a drug traveling from the site of administration to the blood plasma. It is concerning the processes of entry of a drug into the systemic circulation from the site of its administration. Successfully describing absorption into several steps include first, the drug needs to be introduced via some route of administration that can be oral, topical, dermal, etc. And its dosage forms, for example, tablets, capsules, solutions, and nanoparticle formulations. Both of these factors will determine the journey of the drug from the site of administration to the site of action. The mechanism of absorption will then in turn determine the bioavailability. Now the question arises, what is bioavailability? Bioavailability is the concentration of unchanged drug that reaches the systemic circulation. Bioavailability is 100% only in cases of intravascular administrations, as there is no barrier of absorption. Drug directly enters into the blood circulation. For extravascular routes of administration, bioavailability is always less than 100%. Look at this graph. In this graph on the x-axis, we have the time versus the y-axis where we have the plasma drug concentration. Cmax is the maximal drug level obtained with the dose. Tmax is the time at which the Cmax is reached. This lag period over here would determine the time from administration to the appearance in the blood. The onset of activity over here uh, is the time from the administration to blood level reaching the minimal effective concentration, which is known as the MEC over here. Time to peak is the time duration from the time of administration to the Cmax, which is achieved in the time duration, which is known as the Tmax. All of these terminologies are used to calculate the bioavailability of a given drug.